astronomers have been looking at black holes since 1963. We have learned a lot, but if we know all of this, why do astronomers keep asking for more money to build better telescopes? Why keep looking at black holes? What more can we learn about these systems that we don't already know? After more than 50 years, why haven't astronomers cracked the mysteries of black holes? Black hole binaries have helped us navigate our way through much of this course. We have picked them apart and put them back together again, discovering what they contain and how they work in the process. The black holes that we have explored have a companion star that is sending mass towards the black hole. The material that is stripped from the star passes through a disk and corona to get to the black hole, unless it is thrown out via a jet. Looking at black hole binaries with visible light alone can be quite limiting. So we expanded our view to include radio, infrared, ultraviolet, and X-ray telescopes. These observations help astronomers learn about the underlying physics of each of the components of the binary system. The reason for continued observations and studies is that a black hole's properties change over time. The brightness of a black hole depends on what the black hole is eating and whether it is actively feeding at all. If the black hole is eating, is it a leisurely afternoon tea or a crazy pie eating competition? The rate at which black holes consume food can dramatically affect what we see through our multi-wavelength spectacles.